This video presents a definition standard form and couple of approach to solve linear equation. Definition of linear equation. Linear equation is an equation in which the highest and lowest power of the variable is always 1. Very important information. Linear equation cannot have a multiplication of variables. It is very important to be able to classify a type of equations. For example, linear or nonlinear, quadratic or non-quadratic, rational or irrational, because every equation needs specific way to find solution. X plus 3 equals 0, linear or nonlinear equation. We can see we have only one variable x that has power equals 1. So this equation linear. 2x equals 1, variable x has power equals 1, so it is linear equation as well. 5 minus y equals 0. This equation is linear because variable y has power equals 1. Next equation. Next equation, we can see variable c. And our variable c has power equals 1. So it is linear equation. Next we have a very interesting situation because according to property of exponent, we can write this equation like 3 fifths times t negative 1 minus 7 c equals 2. So our variable c has power is equals negative 1. It is a nonlinear equation. Next equation, uh, x times x minus 3 equals negative 1. We can simplify. We can distribute x. It would be x squared minus 3x equals negative 1. So highest value of exponent equals 2. It is a nonlinear equation. Last, square root of x plus x equals 5x. We have here two variable x and variable x. Highest value of exponent equals 1. So it is linear equation. Standard form of linear equation. Very important uh, to solve linear equations. You can see standard form of linear equation AX equals B. With A and B are real numbers and I cannot be equals zero. The first video uh, presents the set of real numbers and can remind you definition of real numbers. Solution of linear equation in standard form, it would be X equals B over A. Now we will use uh, information from previous slide and we found solution of linear equation in standard form. 11x equals negative 11. The first step, we will divide it by 11, both sides of our equation. So now we can simplify left. It would be x equals negative 1. Solution of this equation, negative 1. The second example, we have square root of 3x equals 2. The first step, we will divide both sides of our equation by square root of 3. It would be x equals 2 over square root of 3. We have to rationalize denominator. So we can rationalize denominator. We take our 2 over square root of 3 and multiply denominator denominator by square root of 3. So answer it would be 2 square root of 3 over 3. It is answer root of our linear equation. Next example. 
the same situation. We will divide both sides of our equation by negative 2. So it would be negative 5 equals y. So, or you can write like absolutely the same sense y equals negative 5. And so negative 5. Previous slides show solution of linear equation in standard form. How we can write any linear equation in standard form? Using the four basic mathematical operation. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Big idea to solve any linear equation, we must isolate variables using basic math operation. Four plus x equals three. The first step we remember our goal is to isolate x. We have to subtract four from both sides of our equation. It would be x equals three minus four, negative one. So answer for this equation it would be negative one. Next example two x minus six. Isolate x. The first step we have to add 6 both sides of our equation. It would be 2x equals 6. Now we have to continue our process. We will divide by 2 both sides of our equation. It would be x equals 3. So 3, it is answer for our equation. The first step for this example, we will distribute 2. It would be 2x minus 2 equals 10. Now we remember, we must isolate x. Next step, add 2 to both sides of our equation. We'll have 2x equals 12. Next step divided by 2, both sides. We have x equals 6. Answer for this example, just 6. The first step, for example, 7 is have to distribute 4. It would be 4 plus 4x minus 3x equals 11. We can simplify 4x minus 3x. It would be x. So now 4 plus x equals 11. Next step is the light x. Subtract 4 both side from both sides of our equation it would be x equals 11 minus 4 11 minus 4 it is 7 and so for this example just 7 Example 8, more complicated example but we remember our goal true we have to isolate x so the first step, we subtract 3x from both sides of our equation. We have 12 negative 11x minus 3x equals negative 7. 3x minus 3x equals 0. Carefully with minus, we have negative 11x minus 3x. It would be negative 14x. We keep our 12 and negative 7. Next step, we will subtract 12 from both sides of our equation. It would be negative 14x equals negative 19. Next step, we divided by negative 14 
both sides of our equation. Now we isolate our x. x equals 19 14. Or we can write answer using mixed fraction. It would be 1 5 14. It is answer for our equation. We can use 19 14 or we can use 1 5 14. The first step is to solve example like that. We have to distribute negative 2. Carefully with minus, it would be 5x minus 2x minus 6 equals x plus 4. Next step, you can see we can simplify 5x minus 2x, it would be 3x. So 3x minus 6 equals x plus 4. Now we remember gold rule. Isolate x. Next step, we have to subtract x from both sides of our equation. So 3x minus x give you 2x minus 6 equals 4. Next step, we will add 6 both sides of our equation would be 2x equals 10. Now we divided by 2 both sides of our equation and we have x equals 5. This is the answer of our given equation. Example 10. We have a lot of parentheses here. So the first step, we have to simplify this equation. We distribute negative 2 and left side of equation and distribute 2 and right side of equation. So we have negative 2 times negative 4. 8x. Negative 2 times 1. It would be negative 2. Minus 3x. 3x equals now distribute 2, so it would be 2x minus 4 plus 3. We can simplify 8x and negative 3x give us 5x. We keep negative 2 equals 2x negative 4 plus 3, it is negative 1. Now we have to isolate x, so we will add 2 both sides of our equation. It would be 5x equals 2x plus 1. Now we subtract 2x from both sides of our equation. It would be 3x equals 1. Last step, divided by 3, both sides of our equation. So answer, x equals 1 third. You can write root of our linear equation 1 third. Important information of this video. Linear equation is an equation in which the highest and lowest power of the variable is always 1. Linear equation cannot have a multiplication of variables. Standard form of linear equation ax equals b. We can find x, x equals b over a. So we have to divide it by a, both sides of our standard form of linear equation. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching MSC channel. See you soon.